Iggy Azalea mulls it over. And I guess, like, I just don't get it. And all I've done is trust my struggle. I came to America with nothing except an Australian accent and my skin. There were fireworks exploded while I was in the plane. It was the 4th of July, but it felt like it was my independence, like I was supposed to arrive. And now there are fans exploding at the shows and people are mad at me. And, like, I get it, it's embarrassing to be the azalea that everyone forgets about, but Miss Banks, don't you my hard work to get attention. We're both broke with expensive taste. Well, I used to be broke, but now Forbes says I run hip-hop. I've learned where the real money is in this country. So have true rap icons like Dre. And that's why he's rap's first billionaire, biting off a piece of the forbidden fruit with flesh so white it would blind a bitch like you, but keep coming for me. Rap beat now is angry tweets and empty rape threats and Eminem song shots fired, but I just drop down to the stage. <laughs> My living body, because I don't need to worry about dropping from top fire in the streets. <laughs> and while we're at it, I told my followers to get engaged after the police things or whatever. So what more do you want from me? Wow. And why don't you come after Macklemore this hard? Is it because he's a man? Is it because he did a song called White Privilege or whatever? You need to understand, white privilege is like Louboutins, surrounded by flawless black, but running red underneath. Oh. Also... We don't have that shit where I'm from. I'm from Australia. My entire nation was a disenfranchised prison, but I broke free and made it in America. How much more hip hop can you get? I only became white when I got here. Your nation is so full of bigots who can't see past skin, and I'm the one that needs to take a seat. Lord Jamal, or whoever, said that white people are guests in hip hop. I'm still not quite sure who he is, but maybe Brand Nubian are getting a bit old because he also said I'm everything they want. Questlove said Fancy was the most important hip-hop song of the summer and Q-Tip said I'm an artist, free to express myself how I want and something else about black history, but it isn't February, so I'd rather focus on the present. Thank you. And the present looks like me. Blonde, white, I guess. Fat ass, chimerical, and spitting fire. And that's another thing. People keep coming after me for my accent, or oh, someone called it a black scent, as if they've never heard an homage before. I mean, look at Major Laser. It's literally mediated blackface. I'm more like an impression because rap can't sound good with an Australian accent, and in truth, my accent is fading the longer that I'm here. Now, before you come at me again, like, who that? Who that? Why not ask yourselves what you're reacting to? Hmm? I know what I'm doing, but do you? I'm the white devil, sure, but always with a nod and a wink because the perverse pleasure of being the person for people to pin that hatred of the system on is insurmountable. And being that person is my gift to you, so you're welcome. But I guess I just wrongly assumed that you knew that, knew that. <laughs> People are right, I'm the absolute fucking worst, and I look like Rainbow Sherbert. I don't think it's right. I'm actually the side, but none of you can stop us. This is a lot bigger than white rappers. I represent everyone coming into new artistic spaces. Some will do it appropriately, but others will just appropriate without regard to contextual ethics. We're at your rap battle. We can break with the best of them. We can vote with the homos. Make it clap with the strippers. We can spoken word. Call it what you want. But we've been work, 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 working on our shit. And now we're overriding your history. <laughs> <laughs>